Hello everyone, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Our heroes Link and Medley have been working together throughout this entire dungeon. Now that we are at the boss battle, our heroes are going to face their toughest challenge yet. But working together, they can easily defeat Jao Hala. Medley? Medley, I said working together, Medley! Medley! Huh. As soon as I open the door, Medley disappears. Well, gee, I thought she was really going to help me here. I could really use the help because this enemy is Jal Hala. He is basically 15 Poes put together to form one giant Poe. Now, the Poes in this dungeon have all been defeated by Light. Jahala has the exact same weakness. Shine Light on him to make him corporeal, and then throw him against one of the walls. That splits him up into 15 Poes, and now you have to defeat all 15 Poes. Unfortunately, you can only defeat five Poes at once. That's right, there's a maximum of five Poes you can defeat. And since he's made up of 15 Poes all together, that means you have to fight him for three rounds. Right? Do the exact same thing here, just shine light upon him, then throw him against a wall. And fight those Poes. And how many are left? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five are left. Since he's down to five Poes, that means there's only one more round left. He is going to get more difficult here. So this is probably the ideal time for me to show off Jalhala's various attacks. This is a wind attack, you want to fight against the wind, otherwise you'll be blown against the spikes, which are against the walls. And this is a purple haze attack. A little mask appears over Link. When this mask appears over Link, your control scheme is strange. So if you try to go forward, he goes backwards and crazy stuff like that. The attack is immediately cancelled whenever you take damage. Okay, so that's enough. Time to finish him off. So this can be kind of difficult here, because you want to defeat all five Poes before the time limit goes away. If you're not fast enough, this is what happens. The Poes get back together, and you need to fight another round. But that's okay, because I've got more things to talk about. This is the fire attack, and you'll notice that the beams of light from the ceiling don't stay put very long. In the previous rounds, a beam of light would stay from the ceiling, I don't know, let's say 20 seconds in a row. Here, I think it's more like 15 seconds, if that makes sense. So, for example, I have this beam of light here, which I can't really use against Jahala because he's too close. And the beam of light has already disappeared. So you've got a limited amount of time to use the beams of light against Jalhalla. Alright, let's do this again. And there you go, the final Poe has been defeated.
for defeating the evil Jowhalla, our hero Link receives a new heart container. So let's see, that's nine hearts in total, right? Nine? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And here's what we came to the dungeon to accomplish. We defeated the evil monster, so we can strengthen the Master Sword. Time for one final jam session between Link and Medley. So the Master Sword's handle sort of pops out a bit, which somehow means the Master Sword is stronger. It's not at full power yet. We have to find the other Sage and go through the other temple. Then the sword will be at full power. Okay, goodbye, Medley. That's basically the last time we're ever going to see Medley again, so it's kind of sad. That was sort of a problem with Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time as well. As soon as somebody becomes a sage, they immediately disappear from the storyline and you never see them again. I don't know, it's just sort of a letdown when all of the important and interesting characters disappear from the game. 